The movie is about the struggle of kids growing up in New York. Some people say the movie is actually cursed because a bunch of the people that were featured in the film have passed away. What's up guys? My name's Levi. I'm from Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding. And today we're doing nines. Nine skaters in Hollywood. It's always dope. Imagine this. You're sitting on the couch, popcorn, bowl of popcorn in hand, big old big gulp of soda, and you're just slamming it down your gullet, watching your favorite move, and guess what? A skateboarder happens to be in that movie. We all love it. It's super sick because I knew that guy from that film that one time. This is a list of skaters that happen to be in a lot of films because they're the best. Number nine, Canadian Zone. Rob Sluggo Boyce. Not only did Sluggo have an amazing skateboard career, he also went on to be a stuntman. So he's in a ton and a ton of movies. You can catch him in movies like Chronicles of Riddick, Night at the Museum, Alien vs. Predator, Fantastic Four, The A-Team, and a ton more. Including hits like Blink-182's First Date music video. He was also Zach Galifianakis' stunt double in the movie Out Cold. You all know the rules of King of the Mountain. Rule number one, you do not talk about King of the Mountain. Number eight, you might know Jason Dill or Ed Templeton as Huntington Beach locals or skateboard royalty as owners of F.A. and Toy Machine. But if you look closely, you can see them hanging out at a party in Judd Apatow's TV show, Love. Jason Dill actually went on to be a minor character in the TV show, so he pops up here and there throughout the series. You might know Judd from the TV show Freaks and Geeks or from a few of his movies, 40 Year Old Virgin, Knocked Up, Anchorman, Talladega Nights, The Cable Guy, and so much more. Number seven, your boy, Ryan Sheckler. When he's not pushing around on his skateboard, hanging out on the beach, or just looking for a chill girl, you can see him hanging out with your other boy, Justin Bieber. Ryan Sheckler acts as a cool skateboard guy in Justin Bieber's music video, What Do You Mean? Watch him backside flipping El Toro. Number six, Mike Vallely. 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 Mike V debuted his acting career in a video that you might know as Mike V versus Four Random Jocks. But in all seriousness, you can see Mike V in Paul Blart Mall Cop, The Hangover, and Vin Diesel's Triple X or on OnlyFans. Number five is Andrew Reynolds in Cop and a Half. In the movie, he only looks about maybe seven or eight, a young kid, and he's skating, and this other young kid comes up and commandeers his skateboard. Number four is Paul Rodriguez. Paul Rodriguez was almost born into the life because his dad was a famous comedian in Hollywood. P-Rod got his first chance in Hollywood when he was a little kid in a TV show called The Brothers Garcia. Later, he won an Oscar for his performance in the hugest movie to ever hit theaters, Street Dreams. Sick! And in 2020, he's making a push to be in Hollywood, so he's a secondary character in a current TV show called Selena. Number three, Harold Hunter. If you don't know Harold Hunter, he was an iconic pro skateboarder that rode for Supreme and Zoo York, he was a legend. He also starred in the movie Kids, written by Harmony Koran. The movie is about the struggle of kids growing up in New York. Some people say the movie is actually cursed because a bunch of the people that were featured in the film have passed away. And unfortunately, Harold Hunter was one of them. Number two is Nikkel Smith. He's pro for Adidas, F.A., and Supreme. But when he's not skating, he's acting. We see him in mid-90s. Mid-90s was written and directed by Jonah Hill, who you might know from Superbad. Nikkel got one of the leading roles in that movie. He did it amidst his busy skateboarding career. He also has a rap career if you wanna check it out. Save your ears. Number one is obviously Tommy Honk. Number one is obviously Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk has been featured in a ton of films over the years. He started in the 80s. He was in movies like Thrashin' and Police Academy 4. And in Police Academy 4, he was featured with a bunch of other riders from the Bones Brigade, like Tommy Guerrero, Steve Cab, Mike McGill, and Lance Mountain. 
He was in Simple Plan music videos, Vin Diesel's Triple X, CSI Miami, Sharknado 5. He also featured in Daddy's Home as a stunt double with Mike McGill from Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. And obviously he was featured in The Cleveland Show and The Simpsons. He said in an interview that his publicist wrote into The Simpsons and years later he heard back and he said, hey, we wrote you into an episode. You know you've made it when you've made it into an episode of The Simpsons. Thank you guys so much for watching. You just watch Nines. Nine skaters in Hollywood. My name's Levi and this is Shred Shop, connecting you to skateboarding. If you guys like the content that we're putting out, the best way to support us, like, subscribe, and comment. It helps us put out more videos that you like. Stay tuned for the comment of the week. Holy smokes, we've got a spicy one. Habanero spicy. It's from my dog, Lost Crows. He says, I'm watching from a cell in Huntsville, Texas, while a guy named Big Bertha whispers sweet nothings into my ear. I like being the little spoon. Well, Lust Crows, I like being the little spoon too. So if we ever meet up, we can take turns. Peace. Guys, we love it when you tell us where you're watching from. It really shows how small the community of YouTube and skateboarding can be. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Comment below where you're from and call me out. My name's Levi.